Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Hasibra Chronics. Friends, in this video we will discuss half bridge, half bridge SMPS. This is a simple SMPS switch mode power supply. It have one capacitor. The difference between a simple and half bridge, here is one FET used, one MOSFET is used to drive this transformer. We will discuss half bridge. Half bridge have a minor difference. This is used for low voltage application. This is a normal SMPS. Half bridge is used for high voltage applications. Normally we have the same filter and switch. Filter and switch circuit. Safety circuit. After that we have rectifier circuit it is the same from this stage from this stage fuse capacitors free for frequency for surge ground protection for over voltage protection for temperature coefficient everything is same until bridge rectifier after bridge rectifier we take two outputs positive and negative but here two capacitors are used so these two capacitors are in series voltage drop across the both capacitors the both both capacitors are the same value like here here it is using 420 volt 100 micro 150 microfarad but in in half bridge uh, smps we use two capacitors and every capacitor have vs oblique 2 the voltage drop will be divided after that this M1 MOSFET and here I have so it is connected like this M1 and M2 we have one transformer it is connected from this point this primary and the second end of this transformer is connected to the center of these capacitors so now our transformer the PFC is connected the second thing the output transformer the secondary side is center taped it was questioned by one of my respectable viewer why we don't use a full wave rectifier in output here we use the rectifier second rectifier these rectifiers are connected here then one is capacitor connected here at output stage then we have LC filter and feedback is connected to control circuit what is in control circuit here is SMPS controller and then there is any feedback network maybe some transformer maybe some optocoupler it depends upon the designer now we have two conditions this for M1 in normal SMPS we use only one FET one MOSFET but in this there are two MOSFETs M1 M2 so here the working principle here is totally different than the 
simple SMPS. How? This is used to take a full cycle. In first stage, this is our first section. When M1 will con uh, conduct, so here the signals at M1 and M2 are complement to each other. If one cycle is this M1, at that time M2 will silent. When M2 is working, M1 will remain silent. They work opposite to each other. When this one is on, M1 will on, M2 will off. When M2 is on, M1 will off. These, these are inverted to each other. Now we will see the working principle. The working principle is very simple. Here we have C1, C2, Vs upon 2, Vs upon 2. Because here we have voltage divided. Because two capacitors in series, the voltage are divided. In the first cycle, if we see this end is positive, negative, positive, negative. So forget this capacitor now forget the second portion this time when the first cycle this M1 will conduct when M1 is conducting negative current negative electronic current will start from this end so this end is negative this end is positive so it will complete the cycle and the voltage across N1 here is N1 N2. The voltage across N1, C1 will appear at N1. Voltage across which is the half voltage of the bridge rectifier because half voltage are dropped across Vs2, uh, C2. So voltage across C1 are appear, will appear at the primary of this circuit. Until the signal is available, this will conduct. And the output output at this end now this is positive this is negative if it is in phase or out of phase transformer we will say it is positive here negative here so this diode is reverse bias this diode will forward bias so our current will flow from this point negative end and positive end and we will take output in the secondary half portion so this diode will forward bias and we will take voltage here the voltage in first cycle when m1 is conducting the output voltage will vs oblique to n1 into n2 vs oblique to source voltage source voltage now vs2 we have the output will Vs upon 2 this voltage N1 and N2 the ratio of the transformer we will take the output the first diode will apply voltage here this LC filter will pick the ripples and it will feed to control circuit and control circuit will control the conduction of the M1 and M2 the first cycle is clear we got Vs and we applied connected two capacitors in series the voltage dropped every voltage every capacitor have Vs upon 2 half voltage half voltage then we connected two MOSFETs in series and we connected the transformer here when it is connected here at first cycle when the first cycle M1, M1 that time M2 is silent 
so M1 will conduct the voltage from negative side to this capacitor this will appear at N1 and the output voltage for M1 conduction because this time M1 is conducting Vs2 this voltage this voltage divided by the ratio between primary and secondary N1 and N2 we will take the voltage at the output the rectified output we will take here now the second half we have to forget M1 now the condition is different now the condition is different this time the transformer have to sweep the primary will sweep how before that it was connect connected against C1 capacitor before that it was connected between C1 capacitor now this switch is open M1 is open because it is in off condition M2 is in on condition when M2 is on, con on condition we will get voltage from C2 that is Vs upon 2 because the voltage are divided M M2 signal sorry here is M2 signal when M2 signal is available the negative voltage will be connected at this end of the capacitor before that the negative was connected here now the negative voltage through this M2 will connected here and this end which was connected to the negative of this capacitor now it will connect it against this capacitor so this positive voltage will appear directly to this transformer so this transformer have to reverse the polarity at each cycle now it will connect positive side here the negative will here so this time the polarity of the voltage will different negative this side positive this side and this polarity will also negative this side positive this side before that in first stage this diode was forward biased because the positive and the negative now this diode is rever reverse bias and this one is forward bias and we will take voltage from here the positive voltage will appear here and we will take this cycle so this cycle will continue to working so this circuit is used to take high voltage it is used in high voltage DC applications so the output voltage V output is Vs upon 2 the half voltage it is a transformer action into N1 N2 this is ratio or we can say Vs oblique 2 that is 0.5 that is a ratio because the voltage the source voltage are divided 0.5 into A A Vs 0.5 0.5 is now constant okay a is ratio between this transformer the primary and secondary what is the turn ratio between the transformer and what are the voltage if we are using the total voltage 200 volts the output voltage will divide it 200 multiplied by 0.5 that means Vs oblique 2 so this is the output voltage in this condition M1 is connected here, M2 is connected here. So we will take the voltage from the switching M1, M2. The pulse width is changed same as a simple SMPS, but the difference we have two MOSFETs here, two capacitors, otherwise this is working the same and we have full wave rectifier in the output area in normal SMPS we use single rectifier here we use double rectifier in the output area it is used in high voltage DC applications where we use high voltage out in output we use this technique so I think this video is good for you if it is beneficial for you 
you can like subscribe and if you want to watch my future videos you can press bell icon button if you want thanks for watching assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh